power tool use is the cause of one of the most common industrial injuries in the UK, hand arm vibration syndrome, an incurable and debilitating condition that is preventable. It is estimated by the Health and Safety Executive that up to 2 million UK workers are currently exposed to a potentially harmful level of hand arm vibration. Reporter Nick Thatcher investigates React Tech's wearable monitoring equipment designed to help prevent injury in the workplace. Any employee who works regularly and frequently with manual power tools runs a risk of developing hand-arm vibration syndrome. It's a debilitating, painful, incurable condition known as HAVS for short, and responsible employers like the Murphy Group work hard to assess and identify measures to reduce or eliminate exposure to it. You know, it's not something that you want to, you want to end up with, so you, you, you've got to do your best to sort of avoid it. I've only been doing this three months. But in the future, the, like, the risks that are there for using the, with the vibrations, you know, in the future it could lead to massive problems. And this is what they're trying to avoid. Painful and disabling disorders of the blood vessels, nerves and joints localised to the hands and arms that often develop many years later. The most well-known condition is vibration white finger. And once the damage is done, it's permanent. Nearly 2 million people in the UK are at risk of HAVs, and more than 300,000 have advanced symptoms. As recently as 2014, there were another 830 new cases. And the costs of HAVs to the UK economy are estimated at £700 million each year. But the risks are not confined to a small group of workers. Heavy civil engineering like this is what we usually associate with vibration, but regular use of any power tool can potentially cause hand-arm vibration. So back at the Murphy Group Body Shop in North London, they're trialling a new wrist-worn monitoring device that collects detailed data on the period and level of vibration faced by each individual. Haveware recognises the different power tools being used through tags and not only alerts the user should prescribed levels of vibration be exceeded, but also collects real-time data that can then be analysed for management action locally or at a central level. Previously, all risk assessments were based on assuming a tool had one behaviour. It doesn't. Haveware, for the very first time, will tell you what happens to the tool user while he's using the tool because we're sensing the vibration on the wrist. And that data is then available for the managers of the employees and the managers of the tools to understand are their tools behaving properly and are there people using the tools properly. And that is a piece of information they've never had before. And for companies and local authorities, where there is a high variety of work across widely deployed teams, this secure yet accessible cloud-based information can prove invaluable in managing risks for individual employees, as well as reducing an organisation's overall exposure to litigation. It's the data that really does assist the organisation in being able to look and improve, obviously, in terms of hand-arm vibration controls and risk assessments. The data does provide the different structures to be able to look at the tools and the operators at uh, uh, quite a granular detail. The paper system we used previously didn't allow us to record accurate records and was very time consuming from an individual and project perspective. The hardware system allows us to record accurate records on every tool used by the operative and if anyone has an issue with uh, hand and vibration then it allows us to lower the parameters within the, the hardware system, protect that individual in the future. I think it's very good that any, any employer protects its employees as regards risk to sort of damage in their, their health and welfare. So it's, whether it's Murphy's or whatever other group, you know, investing in your people and keeping them safe is a good thing. React Tech's new wearable technology is taking the guesswork out of assessing employees' exposure to vibration and helping to keep them safe. For when it comes to haves, prevention is the only cure.